sitting at home looking for my video games. Guess you call us video bros. All right, guys, welcome back to Video Bros. Yeah, welcome back to Cake Farts. Um, what? I, I think I said welcome back to Cake Farts. Um, so as we did towards the end of the last episode, I found another HP Plus badge, very useful. So now our health is at sixty-five when it's equipped. So, which I never unequip them because well, well, why would you do that? It, it's very helpful. Um. And we gotta go down here. I think there's like two things in here somewhere. No, there's no reason to go that way. Alright. There was a badge right below it, so in case you just saw that. Yeah, I saw that. And it's. I believe it's a very useful one. Uh, uh, hey, what happened if we go down here that way? Oh, you get stuck. Yeah, it's just, uh, like a trash chute, basically. Alright, so we gotta go the other way. Go this way, and we're rolling down here. We're a paper tube. Again? Yep. Oh, it's over here, right here. That's what I was saying. What happened if you went the other way? P up, D down. Um, boosts Mario's attack by one, but drops his defense by zero. By one? Um... Can we equip it? No, we can't equip it right now. Um, no, we can't. We don't have enough badge points for that. No, next time we level up, I'll increase my BP so I can equip it. Alright, so we're on the opposite side. We're right where we fell before, but we're on the other side. Which is where we want to be. We want to be right here. By the way, people, I was telling Jeff before about this awesome band that I started listening to recently that Pan Pizza talked about in an older podcast of his. Um, check them out. They're called the Megas. They're a band that takes music from the Mega Man games, and they use that music and make songs out of them. There's an actual band that's like that also called a Power Glow. Nice. By the way, you see Luigi right there? But what? Uh, yeah. Luigi, Crazy Daisies, and Punies. Speaking of this battle here, um, if you guys haven't seen it, and you guys play, any of you guys that play modded, modded Smash Bros. Brawl or Project M, um, there's a stage that you can get that is exactly this, not this stage, but it's one of the battle theater stages. It's just stuff like when you're in battle and you see an audience, and yeah, it's really cool. But, so you, but you'll see people in the audience, like in the game. Yes, but what's different about it is though, like like in this instance, you'll see Koopa, then you'll see Piranha, and then you see Blues. This, and 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 the, the one for Brawl, you see every enemy in the game, in the in the audience. And you see um what's what's his face, in the audience, um that really that shy guy. Gourmet guy. Yes. Who was only in the first Paper Mario. Which is cool though, because they have all the Paper Mario characters in that in that thing. Mm. But you know what I was thinking though? About tacos. I'm actually thinking about food right now. Also. See, that's why I said it. Now there's shy guys and dull bones in the audience. No, but you can't tell me that this isn't a bad idea though. I don't know what it is yet. And the next Smash Brothers game that gets re that ever gets released. Like, why can't they add that as a feature to the, like, the stage? Like, the Paper Mario the, uh, Battle Theater stage? That seems like a very good idea. But, you see, and, cause it's not a fan-made, not like a, not like a, 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 custom stage. Like, someone, like, Nintendo can actually do a, a lot with it, like, they could add, like, people going, like, people come in and, like, they would have people, like, right when you start this, like, the battle, whatever, right? There'll be a there'll be a drop down thing and it'll be like three two one like like kind of like a movie thing. Yeah. And then it opens up the curtain, open up, and you start the battle, right? Yeah. And but before Watson three two one, cause I can see I can see it being like a really like cool thing, like when it's in three two one, or or just before that you see all like all like the Paper Mario characters come in and like start coming in, into the theater and they're, and they're waiting for it. Another shine sprites. Now next time we can upgrade two party members. Like, you'll see, like, all the Paper Mario characters come in and, take, yep. and start taking their seats, and then when it's at 3, 2, 1, you start seeing, what do you call it? You start By the way, guess what's in this chest. What? 
Ultra Boots. Ooh, nice. Now our jump attack is gonna be even bigger in battle. It's gonna be even higher. Hi, it's me again, Toadette! It's nice to see you again! We didn't get the Ultra Boots! Now your jump attack power will go way, way up! And you can use a new jump technique, too! Let's practice it right now! It's a little hard, but I know you'll get it! Just hold on to A and rotic analog stick to make your body fold up. Then we say to do a giant spring jump. Remember though, you need to rotate a lot before you press release A, okay? I'm going to sip some water first. And you see this? Now we can climb along poles like we're strippers. Ooh. The spring jump can help you reach new areas since you can grab pipes above you! Move analog stick left to right to move along the pipe and press B to let go of the pipe! Wow, well, way to go, Mario! If that was very well done, wanna try it again? No, no I've got it. Okay, now you master the spring jump! You can grab pipes in the ceiling now, so I'm sure you'll access lots of new areas! No, I didn't really master it, I just wanted to get out of here because your voice, your voice is getting annoying now. The spring jump also lets you attack blocks and other things in high places! Oh yeah! You can use the spring jump in battle too! So see you next time, I guess! And good luck on your quest! So you see this leakage? Yes. Alright, so you gotta jump up here. And now, you look gotta, where oh, we are. We're, you have... Ooh. We're right back in this room. So you're gonna have to fix the leak? No. Mm. Well, I'll let the night guy get it. Yeah. <laughs> so as I was saying, though... Um, Did you get the reference? Yes. I'll let the night guy get it. But as I was saying, though, for like... For the next Smash Brothers game, like they should really have like the battle theater as a stage, though. Cause then, oh yes. Because then you would be like, like I was saying, like when it said three, two, one, you have like all the all the Paper Mario characters come in, taking their seats, right? And then yeah. like you see like as you're fighting, you see like little like like um um what they call like um bubbles coming out of out of the out of the, out of the um all the out of the audience heads, like certain certain characters, right? Yeah. And you, and you see him, like, saying, like, go Mario, or go, like, um, or go Captain Falcon, or something like that, whoever, they're, whoever like, they're, like, voting for, to win, voting for, to win. Yeah. And then when you see, like, one of your characters, like, you're failing, whatever, you see one of your characters failing, they throw, they throw, like, a, a can at you or something, like they do in the, in the actual game. Alright, so Sakurai, please hire us. Why? Because we can give them good ideas for stages. Yeah, that's a great idea. And then you could see like, like um, like one of the other enemies. Like if you need help, whatever. Like not the enemies, but one of the actual um, um, like one a guy that's like a good guy that's on your side. Like say if like the Ouija was, like if the Ouija was there, but it but in his paper form, like he would give you like an item from the act from the Smash Brothers game to help you. Yeah. Throw items in. Yeah, that'd be cool. By I the way. You or and then and then like you do like like only in that stage though you should like actually you know what would be cool though yeah. and it only work in that stage though yeah. and I wish it would I wish it would actually be a, an idea because it would actually it would actually make a lot of sense though too oh you got it not quite now I did close call P when your allies in danger causes foes to sometimes miss if like like since it's since, like it'll be a paper Mario stage. Now we can use this elevator. Since they don't have Paper Mario stages in, in um, Smash Brothers, and they really they, and they really don't. Um, they kind of did in the 3DS version. How so? Well, when you play the stage from Sticker Star, the what? background changes to um, you riding on Cortez's ship in Thousand Year Door, and the music from Thousand Year Door starts playing. When you're in Rogueport, that music starts playing. And then the stage changes to a Bowser castle level, which, no, that, that wasn't really Thousand Year Door, like, 
Yeah. But uh, the Thousand Year Door part where you're on the pirate ship, that was cool. That's right, I forgot about that. But, what um, world are these little monsters? But, um, as I was saying, though, like, they should be able to throw, like, only, the only item that would be able to, that they would be able to, able to throw and get into that game, into that state, into that, into that, um, in that level, or like a, a stage only exclusive item. Yeah. They throw in the 8 bit mushroom from Super Paper Mario. Oh, that would be awesome. And then you get, to, like, like whoever grabs it gets gets to, to, to go grow really big and 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 disperse the eight bit version of them and attack you a couple times. Yeah, that'd be cool. It would. But that'd be that, that'll be weird though because I've never seen like eight bit version of like Captain Falcon or like eight bit version of like of like um Mega well Mega Man will be, Mega Man will be able to do it or Ryu will you be able to do also. Mario, all the Mario characters you'd be able to do. Yeah, of course. Donkey Kong, I've never seen an 8-bit version. Actually, yeah, uh, Donkey Kong you can do also. Giddy Kong, I've never seen 8-bit. Um, if else? you've played, If you've played Super Mario Maker and used any of those amiibos, then you've seen them in 8-bit. That's true. Because of how if you're using, um, the only, uh, stages you can use the amiibos on for skins, for the Mystery Mushroom skins, are of stages that have the the graphics of the original Super Mario Brothers. That that would, actually, I have a, like, and each, like, each 8-bit version of, of the, of, of the characters that you use in that, for that, that item, if you, if, you, if the stage was available, if the stage yeah. was made real, like, they would have their own attack, like, special attack, so, like, if you get it, like, if, say, if you had, like, Pikachu, and, the, and Pikachu turned 8-bit, eight, eight like, a bunch of, like, small Pikachu turned 8-bit, LET'S GO! They would all come together, and, like, hold hands or something like that, or, like, come together in a group, and, like, do a giant thunderbolt at you. Like a volt tackle? No, not a volt tackle, but, like, you know how you do thunderbolt? Yeah. But, like, it would be thunderbolt, like, it would actually be, like, a thunderbolt that actually, like, that, not how it comes from the, from the sky, but like, how it works in the Pokemon game, where it actually just attacks you straight forward. But, right. uh, but a giant way, so it does more yeah. damage. Attention all passengers, thank you for riding the Excess Express. Our next stop is our last Posh Lee Heights. So, uh, yeah, we're almost done with this chapter already. We're so, very close. We'll yep. finish in a few minutes. So like Brandon said, um... We'll be in Posh Lee Heights tomorrow! I feel sad that I won't see you after that! Well, I'm but like... please, do come visit! I won't be going anywhere! But well, it's I, late now! Good night! I'm lightheaded right now. Why? I'm smoking my hookah. You smoke too much. Hmm? You smoke too much. Tomorrow's finally Poshly Heights Day. We've gotta get their crystal star before those other goons, no matter what. Let's chat s catch some Z's before the big day, huh? Right, you ever played that, that other game yet? What game? Uh, Paper Mario 3D, 3D Land. No, I need to play it. The game is so good. Yeah, well, I got plenty of other games on my plate I need to take care of first. Of course. Uh, let's see. Yoshi's Woolly World, of course. Final Fantasy VII. Xenoblade Chronicles 3D. Uh, Star Fox Zero. Uncharted 4. I almost said Uncharted 5. Um... Uh, but, uh, I still need to beat episode 3 two times for my two different files of, uh, the Walk Dead Michonne game. So that's 6. 7 would be whatever me and Anthony play Gears Ultimate Edition together, so that's 7. He got that? Oh, yeah, yeah he got it a while, like, uh, a while ago. He got a good deal with it. Of a bundle. Um, so he spent, saved money on it. Um, for the show at some point, I'm gonna buy it when I get paid this upcoming Friday, not, like, the next Friday comes, of this week, um, cause I didn't get paid this past week, cause I get paid bi-weekly, um, I'm gonna get the Mega Man Legacy Collection for PS4, and guess how cheap it is on Amazon, I saw before. How much? I can get it with Prime, and it was like $29.99 originally. This is a huge difference. I saw it for eighteen dollars and ninety three cents. That's pretty good, but I think you can get it cheaper if you actually if you bought if you buy it off the off the PlayStation Store, maybe. But I want to actually own the game though, because I don't physically own any Mega Man games except Mega Man Five on Game Boy. You should you should get the Mega Man um, games though. I know. I don't think I don't think they um 
I don't know if they um if they play the same way though, or are they just emulated? I think they're just like emulated. I don't know. Ah! Oh, go on. Ah, good morning, sir. It's quite quiet this morning, wouldn't you say? Hmm? Is there something on the windshield? Whoa. Whoa, aren't those the things from the station yesterday? They must have stowed away. Fuck! First, we have to ensure that the the passenger safety. But I have to kick it, kick it, kick it, kick it. Keep driving! Train! Mario! Can you check on the passages? So, uh, you know what the name of these creatures are? What? Smorgs. Smorgs? Yeah. Yoshi looks pissed off when I'm running him. He just looks like, hey, get the fuck off me, man. Oh my god, I just had a good idea. What? Another idea of Paper Mario was ever in, um... In, um... Smash Brothers as a character. Paper Mario as a character? Yeah. Oh, people have thought about that already. No, but I mean, I have a good idea that he was his final Smash. He would go into Papercraft mode and do that giant, um... Yeah. A giant, um, robot thing. The, uh, yeah, the paper craft, uh, bo uh, bots. Ah! I, um, there were a lot of black things everywhere. Did you see me? Wow! How goes it, Traveler? Welcome to the sales store. We have lots of souvenirs. That what seemed, can I do for you? That seems racist. What? Like, there's a lot of black things. Did you save me? And like he's white. Oh, I know. I've never seen a black toad. I don't think they exist. Burnt toads. Oh, come on, dude. No, I feel like that would happen if like if like he got into a fire or whatever. So we will see you guys in the next episode. Hey guys, if you like what you saw in that video, please check out our latest series to the left. I hope you enjoy it. Also, if you want more hilarious videos. Please check out our other series down below. I'm sure you will enjoy that as well. And last but not least, please hit that subscribe button. The more subscribers we get, the more content we can provide. Thank you, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.